How to Treat and Cure Desmoplastic Small Round Cell Tumor Desmoplastic small round cell tumor is an aggressive and rare cancer that primarily occurs as masses in the abdomen. Other areas affected may include the lymph nodes, the lining of the abdomen, diaphragm, spleen, liver, chest wall, skull, spinal cord, large intestine, small intestine, bladder, brain, lungs, testicles, ovaries, and the pelvis. Reported sites of metatastic spread include the liver, lungs, lymph nodes, brain, skull, and bones. The tumor is classified as a soft tissue sarcoma. It is considered a childhood cancer that predominantly strikes boys and young adults. The disease rarely occurs in females, but when it does the tumors can be mistaken for ovarian cancer. In dogs, mast cell tumors are the most frequent round cell tumor. Causes There are no known risk factors that have been identified specific to the disease. The tumor appears to arise from the primitive cells of childhood, and is considered a childhood cancer. Research has indicated that there is a chimeric relationship between desmoplastic small round cell tumor, DSRCT, and Wilms tumor and Ewing's sarcoma. Together with neuroblastoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, they form the small cell tumors. DSRCT is associated with a unique chromosomal translocation T11 semicolon 22 P13 colon Q12 resulting in an EWS slash W.T. One transcript that is diagnostic of this tumor. This transcript codes for a protein that acts as a transcriptional activator that fails to suppress tumor growth. The EWS slash W.T. One translocation product targets ENT4. ENT4 is also known as PMOT. Symptoms There are few early warning signs that a patient has a DSRCT. Patients are often young and healthy as the tumors grow and spread uninhibited within the abdominal cavity. These are rare tumors and symptoms are often misdiagnosed by physicians. The abdominal masses can grow to enormous size before being noticed by the patient. The tumors can be felt as hard, round masses by palpating the abdomen. First symptoms of the disease often include abdominal distension, abdominal mass, abdominal or back pain, gastrointestinal obstruction, lack of appetite, ascites, anemia, and orchicexia. Other reported symptoms include unknown lumps thyroid conditions, hormonal conditions, blood clotting, kidney or urological problems, testicle, breast, uterine, vaginal, or ovarian masses. Differential Diagnoses Because this is a rare tumor, not many family physicians or oncologists are familiar with this disease. DSRCT in young patients can be mistaken for other abdominal tumors including rhabdomyosa or coma neuroblastoma, and mesenteric carcinoid. In older patients DSRCT can resemble lymphoma, peritoneal mesothelioma, and peritoneal carcinomatosis. In males DSRCT may be mistaken for germ cell or testicular cancer while in females DSRCT can be mistaken for ovarian cancer. DSRCT shares characteristics with other small round blue cell cancers including Ewing's sarcoma, acute leukemia, small cell mesothelioma, neuroblastoma, primitive neuroectodermal tumor, rhabdomyosa or coma, and Wilms tumor. Pathology Pathology reveals well circumscribed solid tumor nodules within a dense desmoplastic stroma. Often areas of central necrosis are present. Tumor cells have hyperchromatic nuclei with increased nuclear, cytoplasmic ratio. On immunohistochemistry, these cells have trilinear co-expression including the epithelial marker cytokeratin, the mesenchymal markers desmin and vimentin, and the neuronal marker neuron-specific enolase. Thus, although initially thought to be of mesothelial origin due to sites of presentation, it is now hypothesized to arise from a progenitor cell with multifenotypic differentiation. Treatment DSRCT is frequently misdiagnosed. 
Adult patients should always be referred to a sarcoma specialist. This is an aggressive, rare, fast-spreading tumor and both pediatric and adult patients should be treated at a sarcoma center. There is no standard protocol for the disease. However, recent journals and studies have reported that some patients respond to high-dose, P6 protocol, chemotherapy. Maintenance chemotherapy, debulking operation, cytoreductive surgery, and radiation therapy. Other treatment options include hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, intensity modulated radiation, therapy, radiofrequency ablation, stereotactic body radiation therapy, intraperitoneal hyperthermic chemoperfusion, and clinical trials. Prognosis the prognosis for DSRCT remains poor. Prognosis depends upon the stage of the cancer. Because the disease can be misdiagnosed or remain undetected, tumors frequently grow large within the abdomen and metastasize or seed to other parts of the body. There is no known organ or area of origin. DSRCT can metastasize through lymph nodes or the bloodstream. Sites of metastasis include the spleen, diaphragm, liver, large and small intestine, lungs, central nervous system, bones, uterus, bladder, genitals, abdominal cavity, and the brain. A multimodality approach of high-dose chemotherapy, aggressive surgical resection, radiation, and stem cell rescue improves survival for some patients. Reports have indicated that patients will initially respond to first-line chemotherapy and treatment but that relapse is common. Some patients in remission or with inoperable tumor seem to benefit from long-term low-dose chemotherapy, turning DSRCT into a chronic disease. We did a survey of over 400 brain cancer patients to learn what symptoms they had that caused them to seek medical care. Brain cancer symptoms they reported brain cancer symptoms headaches, this was the most common symptom, with 46% of the patients reporting having headaches. They described the headaches in many different ways, with no one pattern being a sure sign of brain cancer. Many, perhaps most, people get headaches at some point in their life, so this is not a definite sign of brain cancers. You should mention it to your doctors if the headaches are different from those you ever had before, are accompanied by nausea, vomiting, are made worse by bending over or straining when going to the bathroom. Brain cancer symptoms seizures, this was the second most common symptom reported, with 33% of the patients reporting a seizure before the diagnosis was made. Seizures can also be caused by other things, like epilepsy, high fevers, stroke, trauma, and other disorders. This is a symptom that should never be ignored, whatever the cause. In a person who never had a seizure before, it usually indicates something serious and you must get a brain scan. Brain cancer symptoms A seizure is a sudden, involuntary change in behavior, muscle control, consciousness, and or sensation. Symptoms of a seizure can range from sudden, violent shaking and total loss of consciousness to muscle twitching or slight shaking of a limb. Brain cancer symptoms nausea and vomiting. As with headaches, these are nonspecific symptoms, which means that most people who have nausea and vomiting do not have a brain cancer. 22% of the people in our survey reported that they had nausea and slash or vomiting as a symptom. Brain cancer symptoms nausea and or vomiting is more likely to point towards a brain cancer if it is accompanied by the other symptoms mentioned here. Brain cancer symptoms vision or hearing problems, 25% reported vision problems. This one is easy, if you notice any problem with your hearing or vision, it must be checked out. I commonly hear that the eye doctor is the first one to make the diagnosis, because when they look in your eyes, they can sometimes see signs of increased intracranial pressure. This must be investigated. Brain cancer symptoms problems with weakness of the arms, legs or face muscles, and strange sensations in your head or hands. 25% reported weakness of the arms and or legs. 16% reported strange feelings in the head, 
and 9% reported strange feelings in the hands. This may result in an altered gait, dropping objects, falling, or an asymmetric facial expression. These could also be symptoms of a stroke. Sudden onset of these symptoms is an emergency, you should go to the emergency room. If you notice a gradual change over time, you must report it to your doctor. Brain cancer symptoms behavioral and cognitive problems, many reported behavioral and cognitive changes, such as problems with recent memory, inability to concentrate or finding the right words, acting out, no patience or tolerance, and loss of inhibitions, saying or doing things that are not appropriate for the situation.